So installation process is simple. It is same like the Proxmox VE, the one which we have already seen, how we install the Proxmox mail gateway or Proxmox backup server or Proxmox virtual environment. So Proxmox data center manager is similar to that. So I'll be going with the console installation and it will load the configuration ISO file. Here we go. The IP address it has detected automatically from my DHCP server. And here I'll be entering the root password and my administrative email amjad at syncfix.com next and i will uh, keep it same pdm.syncfix.com and uh, the ip address right now it shows me 187 so whether you want to change it or you don't want to change it i have one 101 102 and 103 i will maybe change it to 111 so let me use this enter install so we'll wait for this installation to complete. It will first of all create the partition as we have already seen how it is done in other Proxmox installations. All right, so it is making the bootable media now. All right, system is rebooting now. So we'll just wait. All right, so Proxmox data center manager is installed now. So here you can see its IP address is at port 8443. Uh, you can of course install it on your Proxmox cluster. Uh, or you can also install it on dedicated hardware, but I will recommend you to install it on the Proxmox, uh, any of the Proxmox as a virtual machine, because of course Proxmox cluster is a reliable um, platform right now, so we can install it here. So now I'll be able to access it using the web user. So let me open it. 10.11.12.111 colon 8443 the user id and password that we have already set up and here you can see very nice clean look of the proxmox data center manager nothing is connected right now so here in remote you can add the server i can also go here into remote and from here also i can add it and here on the dashboard also you can see add so here we'll be adding the remote server you can copy and paste the ip address of this for example here if we go I can either go with the IP address and port like this, or I can simply type in the IP address and the port. And here you need to provide the server certificate as a fingerprint. So how you can do it, you will go to the Proxmox node here, and here you will go to the certificates. And in certificates, you will see here that PVE SSL. So here you have the root SSL PAM. So for this particular SSL, so I will be simply copying and pasting the fingerprint and connect. You can see here connection is okay. Click next and remote ID. I will give it for example PSD1. User is root and my password can can is okay. Next, it has detected all the nodes as PSB1, PSB2, PSB3. I will be simply copying this and instead of PSB1 because it may not get from the DNS server. So I will be using these three addresses. 10110 of course depending upon your network as this is for the tutorial so i'll be using this here next and now it has these three host names or addresses and finish in the data center manager now you can see how many virtual environment nodes are there how many virtual machines are there how many are stopped how many are running how many linux containers are there and here you can see all the virtual guests so you can simply open it by clicking this so it will open the virtual environment directly from here so from here, if I go to remotes PSB1, you can see here the uh, PSB1 remote. You can directly open the web user interface from here. Otherwise, for this particular PSB1, which is of course your cluster, it shows you nodes, how many nodes are there, how many guest machines are there, how many are open, how many are running, how many total CPUs are there, physical CPUs, total memory and total usage of the memory. Here you can also see the detailed containers and virtual machines. This was all about the review of the Proxmox data center manager, which is the alpha release right now. And I can see that there is a lot of work has already been done. I will keep on updating more reviews and tutorials related to the Proxmox data center manager.